guys here. Um, but in the meantime, we just want to go over some fun things and products that we enjoy, starting with our newest favorite beauty product. Brie, I'm going to have you go first. Okay. So I found this product um, just a few months ago, actually. It is the Philips Sonicare toothbrush. I know it sounds kind of funny, but I've been using it for the last two months and have noticed the biggest difference. I actually went and had my teeth cleaned by my dentist um, just last week, and he could notice a difference too. You can get these on Amazon, great gift giving idea, and definitely a great find. Love it. I know you got that half off because she bought it on some kind of I did. Cyber Monday I bought something. it. Um, no, I think it was um, a July 4th special or something on Amazon, so I was able to get it half price. Um, but I just checked Amazon and they have some very similar deals right now for the holiday season. So check out Amazon. Um, you can get a really good deal on these. But without 50%, what was it? About like 200 um, I think it was 150 if you didn't get the special. So pretty affordable. I used to have an electric toothbrush. It broke. So I went to Target and got an inexpensive one. And there is a really, really big difference between the $40 one and then something like this. So yeah. I was not happy with mine. So I was glad when she told me about that. I'm going to have to go buy that. <laughs> so my new favorite was recommended to me by my makeup manufacturer. And that's the NADS Facial Waxing Strips. So I got these on Amazon. I guess it was a twofer. Um, but on the inside, you will find these little green wax strips. And basically what you do is you just rub them into your hands, warm them up, place them on your Tom Selleck mustache. Do not zoom in too close to this because I have not done it this week. Um, but anyway, it works just as good as going to, you know, someone who waxes or threaded threads. Um, I'm not a big fan of threading on my mustache. It hurts too bad. Um, but this that was going to be my question uh -huh. too, is how often do you use those? I could probably use them once every two weeks, but I do them <laughs> realistic about once a month. I just have so much hair around my mouth. I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> So I need to invest in those for sure. Yes, that's all. <laughs> okay, so next we are going to talk about our oldest and yet favorite beauty product. Okay, so this is my oldest. I have been in love with this perfume for, I can't even tell you how long. Um, well, she's 87 years old, I mean, so I, I mean, it's I been about 70 years. So yeah. it's, it's been a long time. <laughs> um, but it is the Versa Versace Bright Crystal. Um, I get so many compliments when I wear it. It's just light and refreshing. It's kind of one of those oldies but a goodie. Um, you can get these at any retailer in the, the uh, Galleria or any shopping mall. Dillard's, Macy's, Neiman's, um, all of those carry it. And even though she called it Versace Bright Light, it's actually Versace Bright Crystal. Did I Bright say Crystal. Bright Light? No, on your text. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so is this some kind of makeup light? What is this? <laughs> mine, Versace Bright Crystal. <laughs> mine and you guys, if you follow me in, to any capacity on social media, you have heard me talk about New Lash. I am really, really big on New Lash. Um, I do think that there are other, some other really good brands of lash enhancing serums out there. But because my eyes are so sensitive, I have been unable to use those. So this one retails for about $150 for the large size. I've been able to find it on Amazon for around 90 That's where I get mine from. Um, but I'm sure you can probably find it for even less than that whenever Amazon's having a sale. The reason why I like this one is because it comes out like an eyeliner applicator. I felt like with Latisse, the applicators that they came with, which is in the cosmetic world, a lip brush was way too big. And if you get it in your eye, there could be brown iris pigmentation. So I was not a fan of the applicator. Love the applicator on this. Um, once you get to the point that you want your lashes to be, then you can use it like every other day. Now we are going to talk about our weekly staple. What is your favorite product to use weekly? Okay, so as you can see, I have a lot of hair. This is all my hair, by the way. I just have a ton of hair. So my favorite weekly staple is by Oribe, and it is the um, leave-in dry shampoo. So you just spray it on. It You can go a couple of days. I sometimes don't wash my hair for four or five days, so if you we get, can usually smell if her. If you get too close to, to that point, <laughs> when we smell goat cheese, we know Brie has not washed her hair. And she's on day five. But I mean, to be fair, it takes me forever to dry my hair and fix my hair and make it look like this. So um, this does not happen very often. But this is definitely my go-to weekly. I use this at least once a week. It is definitely the best. And where do you find that one at? Where do you buy um, yours at? Yeah, I buy mine at Tees um, Style Bar on Richmond. Um, that is where my hairdresser is, and she's the one that actually turns me on to this um, but you Oribe is a very popular brand so you can get it at any really high-end um, nice hair salon yeah I know full bloom full-blown full dry bar also sells it and I've gotten some Oribe products from them as yes. well 
Okay, so now I want to talk about my weekly staple, and that is because I'm albino, so I really like the San Tropez self-tanner, and this is the mousse. I ordered the glove, as you can tell I've used that one before. The glove did not come in the mail, so Amazon kind of screwed me on that one. So my hands are usually a bit orange <laughs> from using it. Um, but what I like about this one is the undertone. It has more of a green olive tone. Brie uses it as well. Obviously, she has not used it today because no, she's looking I am albino. Tiny white today. But uh, I but told her. I did tell her. I was that my tan is her pale. So we had to kind of <laughs> look the same for the video. A trick is is I actually have gloves here at the office, obviously. So I take them home and I use that same. Um, lotion for my tanning but I use my little latex gloves to or non latex gloves but so yeah if you don't have the mitt that they sell then I highly recommend if you don't have gloves or a mitt if you're doing it with your bare hands you have to stop wash your hands throughout the process or you will stain your hands be really really careful to get in between your fingers and I've noticed if I swipe this way and then then I go back this way it gets between the skin cells better um, and I feel like I just get more even tan I will tell you it smells good going on but they all stink I'm not a dermatologist I'm not a skin expert but I would tell you that I think it has something to do with the chemical reaction in your skin and you're never gonna be able to find a self tanner or a spray tan that absolutely does not stink it all stinks and your armpits will smell for two or three days and every <laughs> of your body but it's worth it to look tan True. coming from a tanorexic yes okay mm -hmm. so now let's talk about our favorite daily product what is your very favorite product that you use okay. every single day and tell us why yes so these are my I kind of have two this is my first one this is by SkinCeuticals this is CE Ferulic this is vitamin C vitamin E and ferulic acid um, what this is is an antioxidant which actually helps to protect your skin from the free radicals and the environmental hazards in the air um, why is that important well it's important because there's so many things that are let off by pollution in the air and the Sun that damage our skin that we don't even know that over time and you know extreme exposure Exposure to these things can damage our skin and make us age faster, look older, all that stuff that we don't want. This is something that I never leave home without. The reason that I like the SkinCeuticals one the best, there's lots of antioxidants on the market. SkinCeuticals actually owns the patent to the pH level in this product. So theirs, in my opinion, is the best on the market. Same goes for sunscreen. I can't tell you how many people don't wear sunscreen. It is so, so important to help slow down the aging process and to just protect your skin from the sun. The sun is the most damaging thing for our skin. So these are my two do not leave home without them. Um, I never leave the house without this on my face. And to go you know, give an extra point about the sunscreen is I laid in tanning beds for many, many years. Um, my mom actually used to own a tanning bed salon, so I was laying in them when I was 13 and 14 years old and completely ruined my skin, um, not only from direct sun exposure outside, but also in a combination of that and the tanning beds, I had melasma all over my face. So I've had to go through a lot of pain and I've posted a lot of videos and, um, you know, chunks of flesh falling off after my lasers. <laughs> um, and it got rid of most, if not all of it. Um, but if I had it all to take back, I would have been wearing sunscreen every single day to prevent because you're, you know, you're face is your investment too so you want to make sure that you take good care of your skin because you only get one layer and if not it's very costly and very painful to have to go through the process of trying to get rid of the damage that you cause by not wearing sunscreen so good point yes okay so my favorite one so I got to give myself a plug for Gentry Kelly Cosmetics because um, this is all-time favorite skincare product um, is an exfoliator so back in the day 20 years ago when I was working at Clinique um, I was introduced to seven day scrub and I like the concept of exfoliating every single day instead of letting it just build up and then doing something like St. Ives or a microderm to get it all off once it builds up I prefer to do a lightweight daily scrub it smells like heaven it smells like spearmint but it also has lemon which is a really good antiseptic detox for your pores so it's gonna help with blackheads it has jojoba esters in it which polish off that top layer of skin but very gently because it's a rounded wax bead um, and then it also has aloe to help calm and soothe redness so I like to do this in the morning versus in the evening and I know skincare is an opinion and everybody has a different one but this is my opinion because I like to do one clean sanding of all the flakies right before I put on my makeup if you do it at night if you still have eight to ten hours of skin turnover and things loosening up and then putting your makeup on top of that so I like to do it in the morning and it is a cleanser and an exfoliator all in one now we are going to talk about our very favorite cosmetic product. Go for it. So I'm going to also give Gentry a plug because my favorite all-time product is her Lip Dew. So if you have not tried this Lip Dew, it is 
all-time favorite of mine. It has avocado oil, vitamin C, and aloe, so it just helps your lips to stay fresh and uh, moist during the day. Um, she didn't mean to say that word moist. <laughs> she meant to say the word hydrated. As soon as it came out of my mouth, I was like, oh, but I, like the I word did moist. not mean to say that. Moist but, is one of my favorite words. But it does. <laughs> funny stories we almost named it lip moist until one of my customers said if you name it lip moist I will not be purchasing that product <laughs> so yes definitely this is a staple in my purse I do not leave home without this either it's just a great in lieu of chapstick because chapstick is just going to ultimately dry out your lips more mm -hmm. this keeps them nice and fresh and, um, and you can use it over lipstick if you want to and then it kind of gives you a nice soft look Perfect. My new product, you guys have not seen this yet because I just got it on the UPS truck yesterday, but I have been using lab samples um, that I received maybe about four months ago and I've gone through two of them already because I love them so much. But it is our new ultra fine brow pencil that you do not have to sharpen. You actually scroll it up, but it gives you a look like microblading for your eyebrows, but in a pencil form. It also has a little blender just like the old one on the outside and I'm wearing it right now which I love it um, and it stays on really well it does have a little more of a waxy texture to it um, but I absolutely love it because I like that it gives a tiny little hair like strokes making my brows look defined because without my brows I look like I was burnt in a fire <laughs> anywho now let's talk about your good find all right so I found this brush it is Eco Tools, and I actually found it at Ulta um, probably two years ago. I've had this brush for a while, but back to how much hair I have. I have a ton of hair, and it takes me forever to blow dry my hair. This brush actually helps it to dry, they say, 40% faster. Um, I don't know how true that percentage is because it still takes me forever to dry my hair, but I do find that this is just a nice detangler um, and helps me to get my hair drier faster, get me out the door. Perfect. I need one of those. <laughs> I found this one by sniffing out other people before I actually got it for myself. It's called Santal 33 and it's by Le Labo. Um, I know Saks Fifth Avenue carries it. I don't know who else does, but I can always smell it from a mile away in a good way, not in a, I'm in an elevator with someone who's wearing YSL. What's that really spell? <laughs> YSL. <laughs> that is so strong. Sorry if any of you guys wear it, but it's a little intense. But I like the roller balm, so that way I'm not in people's face, like literally punching them in the face with my perfume. So I use the roller ball like this and just kind of put it right on my wrists. One little tap, one little tap on my neck. But it is the most beautiful, nice woodsy smell. I don't know exactly what the notes are. I probably should have Googled that before. Um, but oh, that smells nice. Isn't it nice? Yeah. And one of her patients had it on the other day, and I was yeah. like, oh, my God. Somebody's swearing Santal. I love it. But um, I think this is like 95 bucks, so very inexpensive. Um, good product. Good find. Okay, now gift-giving idea. Show us what you think is a good gift-giving idea for the, so, for the girly girl. For the girly girl. Every girl needs a wand. If you have not been introduced to the wand yet, you are missing out. This wand is actually by Paul Mitchell, and it actually comes with three different headpieces, so you can take these off and replace it with three different sizes, however you want your hair to look. I specifically wanded my hair today just for this video. Look how pretty it but is. But you can see that it It just, only took her two hours to yeah, do this. <laughs> basically. Um, but you can just see it just leaves nice soft curls. Um, and for whatever reason, when, when I wand my hair, I can, again, I go four and five days without washing my hair. These curls will stay in for that length of time. The wand just keeps the curls in. And I so, think that one gets up to 450. I just four, recently bought one for myself. Is it 450? 410, I think. 410, okay. 410. I feel like yeah. the hotter the wand, the better the curl stays, at least for my limp hair that doesn't really want to do much. But yeah, great gift giving idea for the girly girl. If you don't own a wand, you got to get one. And how much is that? Um, this one was, I believe, 100 Yeah, I think so yeah. too. I know. Maybe um, 130 uh, I'm not really, I've had this one for a while, so. Okay. Okay, so um, we're actually listing prices at the very end too, because I know you guys are going to come back and ask, and I don't think we've hit the prices of everything, but. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to shamelessly plug myself again. I think this was such a cute gift-giving idea for this year. 
Um, and when I chose the colors, my team and I, we chose three neutral shades that anybody could wear. I feel like people, you know, lipstick is more of like a personal um, choice. It's just kind of whatever you feel most comfortable in. Um, but I got three shades of nude inside of this cute little pouch. It's $49, $66 with the glosses, and you get the pouch for $49. So it's essentially buy two, get one free. Um, it's got Send Me Nudes. I think it's such a cute name for this one. Um, it's almost clear, but a little bit more of like a creamy white base to it, I guess. Um, Nutmeg Frost, which is the ugliest one in the tube, as you've heard me say a million times before. Um, but I like it because it gives such a really pretty bronze nude with the golden fleck in it. And then we have the My Two Scents, where Nutmeg Frost can be worn alone, and so can Send Me Nudes for a nude shade. Please do not wear the My Two Scents by itself. If you are a fan of the old Copper Kiss and my older formula of gloss, this will be your new fave. But I like this one just to put the center of your lips, just to make your lips look a little bit more pouty. I'll actually do it right now on, oh, on film. Yeah. And I don't like to double dip my wand on my lip um, when it's my personal gloss, just because I feel like um, it starts to change colors towards the end. But I like this one, because look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. How it just kind of reflects that the light. That does remind me of color. Right kiss. towards the center. Yep, mm -hmm. I love it. It's got a nice thick texture to it. Yeah. But anyway, this is a great gift giving idea if you're not really sure what kind of color family that she likes because anybody could wear these shades of nude. $49. Okay, so the next one is your favorite health product. Okay, so anyone who knows me knows that I'm into fitness. Um, my favorite health product is a product called BCAAs. So if you're not familiar with BCAAs, what that stands for is branch chain amino acids. And it is just super good for muscle recovery and more so for just muscle stabilization while you're working out. But what I like to use it for is I actually sip on my BCAAs. The girls always make fun of me because I come in every morning with my little blue shaker bottle. Um, and I sip on these throughout the day. So the blue raspberry? Just, what flavor is that? This is blue raspberry. I want to try it. I think yeah. I've I think I've tried these before, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all yeah. if you it can, tastes like you can shit, drink after I'm me. gonna tell you. <laughs> we are the same person, so whatever cootie she has, I have. But yeah, this is the blue raspberry by First Form, but mm. almost every supplement company out there makes a BCAA, so you can That's find good. one that works for you. But what I find that it helps me do is actually get my water intake during the day. So I just sip on it throughout the day, then I'm not quite as hungry and not wanting to snack at things, yeah. um, and I'm getting enough water throughout the day, because that is I super important that. as well. When I was doing the juice cleanse, I did notice the more fluids that I was taking it, I didn't feel the hunger so yes. I think water definitely makes you feel full yeah okay mine don't laugh there's no <laughs> laughing in baseball <laughs> this mine <laughs> you know what this is this is the emergency C, uh, emergency sorry you can pick it up at CVS you get a whole box of them but I like it because um, health insurance is so expensive and my deductible is extremely high so I hate having to go to the doctor when I start feeling like a little sniffle or start feeling like my throat is starting to hurt and I swear this is like a miracle solution I put it in my water I don't like to fill it up as much as she does with her B BCA or whatever the heck that yeah, stuff those, is. Yeah those take like a shot. I like to take it like a shot so I just put very <laughs> little water put this in there or put some water in my mouth and put it in my mouth and I swear to you, it like, it's like the Miracle Recover Recovery Cream. And it I'm, really is. I'm not a doctor, but I feel like it just kind of sends a surge of all the right kind of vitamins and nutrients it that you need. It just boosts your immune system. And boosts my immune system to make yeah. me feel better instantly. So, good to keep when you're traveling. If you're going on a plane, I always take this before and after a plane. Um, so easy to travel with, too, with the little packets. So that's mine. Now, what's next? Must have, must use. Must have, must use. Okay, okay I've got a couple of, I've got a couple of things so in the I must just, have, must use. I just have one. <laughs> My must have, must use. Everybody, everybody, except for pregnant women, um, retinol. So, if you're not familiar with retinol, retinol is just a great cream that you use at night. Um, it helps to turn over those skin cells quicker. So, again, just prolonging the life of your skin and helping to reverse any type of damage that has been done over the years. Um, lots of different companies make retinol. Um, this is SkinCeuticals Retinol 1.0. If you've never used retinol, you may want to start at a lower dose and that's okay too. Um, but definitely retinol every night is uh, a staple must have, must use. I always say stay away from the sales pitch of the $600 face cream that's going to give you the look of you know, yeah, a plastic surgery type result. Let's be honest. A lot of this stuff is made at the same place by the same chemists. So um, just stick with the basic retinol. It's inexpensive. How much is that? Sixty bucks? Yeah, 68, this is like that? Um, sixty-five. 
So super affordable, super easy, and it's proven to work. So it just encourages the cell turnover um, without causing mega flaking like some of the old school ones did. Must have, must use. Must have, must use on my list is the Morgan Taylor No Way Rosé Nail Polish. So I found this one because we always play the Name That Shade game at Ginger Kelly Cosmetics. Whenever we're coming out with a new formula or a new color of lipstick, lip liner, we post the pictures of it and you guys name the shade. If you don't follow on social media, you should follow on my personal Facebook page so you can play along next time. But anyway, somebody so creatively named my new blush No Way Rosé and then I found out through links people were sending me, there's a nail polish from Morgan Taylor with the same name. So I found it. I think my friend Sunny was the one who bought me the very first container of it or bottle of it, but it is amazing. It's my favorite color. Don't look too closely because I had to do my own nails and it's not super, super straight. But anyway, I love this color. It doesn't really chip very easily. I can wear it for like a week and with the brush cleaner and everything that I'm messing with during the day, it doesn't chip off in a day like some of the other ones do. And if you're doing this and you're doing it at home on your own, I definitely recommend to do this product on top. I'm going to totally butcher this, I think, French product. Sachet Vite, Vite, sounds fancy. <laughs> anyway, you can find this on Amazon as well, but it's spelled S-E-C-H-E-V-I-T-E, -E -E, but it's a really fast drying top coat. And I feel like this really, really helps keep the metallic look on the nail polish and keeps it from chipping. Okay, so now on to the next thing. What's the next thing, Brie? What's our miracle next category? Miracle product. So our miracle product in our life. My miracle product is the skin pen. If you are not familiar with skin pen, you do not know what you're missing. So skin pen is basically micro needling of the skin. So it is, this is what it is. It's a pen. I can't put this on because it is, um, just a practice one so it doesn't click on. But it goes just like this. We go across the face with it. It's got these Turns on just like a vibrator. Yeah, it does turn on like a vibrator. With different speeds, just um, like a, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see the little bitty micro needles in there. So they, what that does is it makes these itty bitty micro injuries in the skin, forcing the skin to heal itself. So thus producing collagen, smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles. It's just the best overhaul for the skin. This can work on all skin types, all, um, all ages, any anybody, even skin tones, even all skin, skin, skin tones. tones. Yes, um, anybody is a candidate for skin pen, and it is just I do skin pen probably three times a year just for the maintenance of it. So the reason why I love skin pen so much, and I've done three of them already, I'm about to sign up for my fourth one, and that's been over about a one to two year period that I've done that many. Um, but I think it's good maintenance as well. But I like it because I had a mole removed on the end of my nose and another one underneath my eye. We thought it could have been a little bit of a cancerous issue. Thank God it wasn't. Um, but anywho, I had six or eight stitches in each spot. And we've done this. And you know cartilage is really hard to repair. Mm -hmm. And it's plumped up pretty much. I mean, you can get in there and see. There's barely yeah. a tiny little divot. But I have a lot of customers, and she has patients that have you know, been in a car accident or have yeah, had, it know, is, scarring. It's perfect for scarring, for old acne scarring, mm -hmm. any type of scar. Um, and typically if you're trying to address something like that, like a scar or a deep fine line, I recommend start with a series of three. Um, you're going to get the best results if you do a series of three about a month apart and then you can use it as a maintenance treatment. I hear a lot of people say, well, I did one and didn't see any results. So it's just like going to the gym. You can't go stand on the elliptical for 20 minutes. That's and a good way to, to put see. it. That's a really good way to put yeah, it. Yeah, and, and that's skin care in general. You you can't go to the gym for 20 minutes and expect to see a difference in your body. Same with skin. You, it's a maintenance. You have to keep keep at it, keep doing things to help improve it, to protect it, that sort of thing. And people always ask um, what I've done to my skin, and I've done everything from IPLs to Fraxels to peels with TCA, the really strong ones, the blue peel if you're watching for that, and the skin pen. And I think each thing that I do gets me closer to achieving my goal. And I think, you know, for being an old fart, not too bad looking. I mean, you look okay. I mean, not much moves on my face anymore because <laughs> this one puts a lot of disport in there and filler. <laughs> but anywho, I really like that for texture. And one of yeah. my favorite results besides what I got here was I was from whistling. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I was getting those little lines around my mouth and I had her do two or three passes over my mouth area. And it was only about six weeks later. I saw a lot of those fine lines plump up, which I love. My favorite miracle product is the Orbe Root Touch Up Spray. And I love this one because my hair has very stubborn gray it doesn't want to the color just does not want to stick more than like three or four weeks 
So I've been doing this, which is a little tiny spray bottle, and it comes in about six shades, and they do have very believable ones for blondes. And I was just, I just gonna ask that. They have blondes. They too? have blondes, and I just spray it right over my gray after I part my hair, and it is amazing for that. So I absolutely love this product. I don't know the price on it, but I will post it in the video. Um, it also smells really good. I love the smell of all the Orbe products as well. I do too. Um, but really, really good, quick touch up if you don't have time to get your hair colored. Now we are going to talk about the plastic surgery type result. Okay, so Brie, what is your favorite plastic surgery type result from a beauty product? Okay, so hands down, dermal filler. So if you don't know much about dermal filler, um, not all dermal fillers are created equal. My favorite line is the Restylane family. Um, Restylane is a hyaluronic acid dermal filler. Our bodies already produce hyaluronic acid. As we age, we produce less and less of it. So sometimes we just lose volume in places like under our eyes, in our lips, through our nasal labial folds, our cheeks fall, um, those sorts of things. Those are just common aging issues. What you can do with dermal filler is fill in that hollowness or just plump up where you've had volume loss. We actually just did Gentry's under eyes last week. Um, filled in really nicely. We just used it, and honestly, a little bit can go a long way. You don't yeah, have to. We only to, have a syringe on me. It wasn't even yeah, a full syringe. We didn't just even to get use the minimal. whole syringe. Um, it's sort of one of those preventative things. If you just do a little bit at a time, you can remain looking natural. You don't look like one of the Beverly Hills housewives. <laughs> Um, and that's what I was, she can tell you, I was really scared. I was super scared I was going to look fake. Because there's people that I've seen that have this done, that have too much. I was like, please don't make me look like that. What if I hate it? Can you take it out? She's like, don't worry. So we did very, very minimal on me because I just have, it's called periocular fat loss, right? Right. Did I say it? Okay. Yep. And it was right through here. And even Sean had said something about it too. He's like, honey, we're getting old. I'm like, bitch, speak about yourself. <laughs> but even Brie had been telling me I needed to do some of that too. So anyway, so she just lightly filled through here. And I was so worried about the pain. She has an amazing numbing cream. It hurt no worse than having Dysport, which I think actually hurts a little bit worse yeah, than the fillers I agree, did. I agree. And I was shocked because I was thinking, I mean, I had one of them, when she did my lips with the Restylane Silk, I guess it's been March would be a year. Yeah. Um, we did dental block because I was getting other stuff done that day too. So we thought it would be just like a one size fits all to get the dental block because I wouldn't feel anything, including my laser. Um, but I was super, super nervous about the under eye hurting worse, but it actually wasn't bad at all. So yeah. if you're worried about pain, it's not that big of a deal. So this is definitely my favorite plastic surgery type result. You can get a really natural, great just enhancement of your face without going under the knife. And I really like the Restylane Silk, how it made my lips feel really hydrated too. Yeah. And look more hydrated. So I just wanted to yeah. throw that in there as well. But really happy with my results. Okay, so my favorite plastic surgery type result is the Brow Lift. I'm going to plug my company again. But I think it's such an amazing product. And if you use my line, you 99.9% .9 chance you are already using this product. If you haven't tried my line and you're watching YouTube and you're seeing some of the how-to videos and you purchased this product, you've probably messaged me or put in the comments, mine was creamy. This is a creamy product. A lot of people think it's powder when they watch the video, but I'm not a big fan of using powder eyeshadow all the way across the eye for two reasons. It doesn't stay on, and number two, it doesn't help adhere your other shadows. Um, so I have the eyebrow lift and the eye base that you can spread across your eyelid before applying eyeshadow, but I do prefer the brow lift to hang out by itself. So you will find a video on YouTube, and I'm doing some updates as well. Um, on how to use this product, but it's essentially you apply it with a concealer brush, which is a synthetic hair brush so it doesn't get clumpy if it's a brush made of real hair, and you apply it to the outer two thirds of the underside of your brow. I don't like to put products up here, just keep it underneath, and it gives your skin a really pretty glow and makes your brow bone look very natural, but it opens everything up, hence the name the Brow Lift. So that is my miracle plastic surgery type result product. And it sells for $25 and one container lasts about two years. Yeah, I have that and I have had my... Uh, Look how pretty, she's got that now too. my container for probably three years, I remember, because it's your old packaging. And nobody ever so, believes that it lasts that long, but it, it really does. It lasts forever. So. And so this whole video, we've been talking about our favorite beauty products, but now we want to talk about our favorite non-beauty products. So I'm going to let Bree start, um, and this is just something that we like for both ourselves and we like to give other people, so go for it. You tell us what you love. Okay, so this is just kind of a random gift idea, something that I just love. Again, I'm really into fitness, so I am obsessed with the Lululemon Yoga Align Pant. So it comes in long pants and it comes in the capri pants. I literally have probably every color that they make in these. 
Um, they retail for probably a hundred dollars, um, which I know is a so little. So basically, you gotta be rich. <laughs> I know it's a little pricey, but it's Lulu. What do you expect? But super high quality. I've had a couple of them for a couple of years, and um, just I could live in these. It's it's kind of like walking around naked. I like, I like it. them. I like them, and it sucks in all the things so they don't hang down. Yes, it sucks in all the things. So they're very high waisted. I've seen you post pictures of those. Yeah. I don't own a pair. I need to buy a pair. They're, actually, they're my favorite. I live in these. When I'm not at work, you can find me in my Lulu. Or pants. sometimes when she works on Saturdays. Or sometimes Saturdays. on Saturdays when I work, I wear these to work. <laughs> And my favorite non-beauty product, which I think is a great gift-giving idea, very affordable. So if you ain't rich and you can't afford them Lulu <laughs> lemons for the gift, this little guy right here. I need it to get some. Is my favorite sheet on the planet. I remember a long time ago because I'm very entrepreneurial. I was thinking, you know what? I want to start a website called SoftSheets.com, and then somebody already had stolen it, stole my idea. Anywho, um, because I feel like. I have purchased sheet after sheet and I could never find anything that was soft, affordable. You know, you think if it has higher thread count, it's going to be a better sheet and then you open them up and they're crusty and I hate that feeling or you feel hot in the sheet. Um, I don't even know how I originally found these sheets. I feel like somebody had told me about them. But anyway, they're, they go between $20 and $30. Um, the brand is called Elegant Comfort. I've posted about them on social media before. A lot of my clients have purchased them and have also commented underneath saying they absolutely love the sheet. Really, really good find. Comes in an array of colors. It's not the best of quality as far as like the seams. Um, so if you're fancy pants, you're probably not going to absolutely love the way they look. But I think as far as comfort and having something that's easy, disposable, and amazing, I would definitely recommend getting those. I get it on Amazon. On, and I just I would recommend looking up elegant comfort king flat sheet set that's what it is it looks like it comes in like 10 colors so I will put a link so you can find them so you don't inbox me and ask me where to find them because I get probably one of those messages a day but I do like to share fun things that I find and I wanted Brie to do this with me too because we love to tell you all the things that we use yeah we love all the pretty things <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and have a happy holiday season thank you bye so, after the credits roll, there is one more beauty product I want to share with you. You may have noticed that my hair looks extra fluffy right now. And that's because I have in my halo hair piece. So I'm wearing my little wiggy poo right now. And I want to show you what it looks like with and without. So, the way this works, it's on a fishing line type strand and half of it has hair on it. So, all of this you see is not my hair. Watch this. Oh my dear lord. Hairspray. There she is. I was not born with thick, beautiful, luscious hair like Brie, so I gotta wear the wigs. So I wanted to share with you how beautiful this is. So I thought this would be, what is she doing? She's coming over here <laughs> to whip and nay nay her hair. This. Dear Lord, baby Jesus did not bless me with that hair. <laughs> so I've got three strands, and I absolutely love this guy, and I like to share it with the world. So I think it was around three, $400. They can color match you at full blown where I got it. But I love it because it, I can wash it, which I don't because I'm dirty. But you can curl it. You can do whatever you want, blow dry it. Uh, but I absolutely love this little guy, and I wanted to share my uh, favorite beauty find. Thanks for watching.